Hello everybody, welcome back to the Dugout Football Channel. This is my Match Week 21 Bundesliga predictions. Yes, the Bundesliga is back after the international break. We are back and we have a title race on, don't we? Well, we shall see. We shall see if there is a title race on after this weekend. Anyway, but let's have a quick look how everyone did in match week 20. Um, it was a good week for me. It was a very, very good week. I got six out of nine, so I'm very, very happy about that. The hat... Managed to get three. So if you got more than three, you beat the hat. I think there was maybe one person that drew with a hat. Uh, so we'll go through the scores. We will go through the scores. So uh, the hat obviously got three. Asian Sensational FC, you got three uh, this week as well. Balam got four. Shane O'Donnell got five. And then on six, which was the highest score this week, was Dan Milne, Lanzo, and myself. So. Looking forward to uh, match week 21. And it has to be said, a lot has ha happened since then. We will come into the ins and outs, of course, uh, as well. But the first game to preview and predict is Hertha Berlin against VFL uh, Bochum. Uh, Berlin uh, lost 4 1 to Bayern Munich. Um, not a good result, that one. And VFL Bochum managed to draw 2 2 with FC uh, Köln um, as well. This is a very interesting game because, you know, I think Bochum actually are, are you know, further in front of Hertha Berlin, actually. Uh, in fact, it's only two points and two points in front. <clears throat> Two points in front that, uh, you know, Bochum are, um, you know, they're 11th, Berlin or 13th as well. This is a very, very tricky one to call. Uh, big news for Hertha Berlin is that uh, Christopher Piatek has left the club. Um, he has he has gone on pastures new um, as well. Um if you're F VFL Bochum, you know, you, you've had a good season. You've had a very, very good season so far, haven't you? Um this is a very, very tough one to call. I'm gonna go for a draw in this game. I've just got a feeling that it'll be a it'll be one of those games where it's cat and mouse. You know, it'll be you attack, we attack, or you know, we defend, you defend. I think it's gonna be that kind of, kind of one of those games. And uh, I am gonna go for a draw in this game. I'm gonna go for a one-one draw between Hertha Berlin and VFL uh, Bochum. So that is my first prediction. That is Friday night game uh, as well, that is for sure. So let me just get down there. Uh, the next game is Armenia Bielefeld against Borussia Munchen. Uh, Gladbach, Armenia managed to win 2 0 away at Eintracht Frankfurt. Fantastic result. Uh, that one, Munchen Gladbach lost by two goals to one against uh, Union Berlin. And you know, they're only three points above the relegation zone, which is not good. Not good if you're a Munchen Gladbach fan. But Breofield, fantastic performance against Eintracht Frankfurt, uh, you'd have to say. Uh, Ortega in the goal for Armenia Bielefeld was absolutely superb um, as well. Munchen Gladbach, 2 1 defeat to Union Berlin. I think many people would have probably predicted them to lose to um, Union Berlin, me included, unfortunately. It's, it's, just, it's just the way that things are going. Dennis Sakaria has gone to Juventus now as well. So lost a big, big anchorman in that, in that midfield uh, for sure. But I, I think it's safe to say, I, I think Zakaria was always going to leave, sadly. And unfortunately, it has been. Uh, coming, it has been, it has been coming as well. But 
This is a very interesting game. Armini Billefeld are now out of the relegation zone. They are now 14th. And a win against Gladbach could really, really, um, could really sort of force Munich Gladbach in to a dog relegation, dog, dog fight almost. Um, but I'm going to keep faith. I'm going to keep faith. And I'm going to say that we will win by our goal to nil. I'm going to go for a 1-0 win to Munch and Gladbach. Come on, you fools. Let's let's try and get a, a victory, uh, of course. And now we have Augsburg against Union Berlin. Uh, Augsburg did, lost 5-1 to Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, that was not a good result. And Union Berlin, obviously, won uh, by two goals to one against Michigan Glide. But the big, big news, though, for Union Berlin fans is that Taiwo Wonyi is back in the side. He will be back from the um, Africa Cup of Nations. Where I have to say, you know... Watching Nigeria, they absolutely strolled the group stage. And then all of a sudden, uh, just after that, they played um, Tunisia and obviously, you know, lost. But Taiwa Wuni actually, to be to his credit, actually had a good African combination, in my honest opinion, uh, as well. Augsburg, they are languishing uh, now in that playoff spot. They are now in 16th uh, position. And... The way it's going, I can't really see anything other than a Berlin win here. I honestly don't. I think Berlin are going to uh, be uh, too too comfortable uh, in this game. Look, if Augsburg want goals, then obviously you've got Ricardo Pepe. Uh, he's, he's an out, outlet for goals as well. But the way I see I just think it's going to be a, a very comfortable 2-0 win to Union Berlin. And I think having, having uh, a one-year back is absolutely massive at this stage in the season. So I am going to go for a 2-0 win to Union Berlin. And now a very tricky tricky matchup, this one. FC Köln against SC Freiburg. Obviously, FC Köln were involved in a 2-2 draw against VfL Bochum. Freiburg managed to win 2-0 against uh, Stuttgart. To be fair, you know, both of these sides are going very, very well. Köln are eighth at the moment, and Freiburg are going very, very nicely in fifth uh, position uh, as well. So this is a tough one to call this one because you look at both sides, you know, Antonio Modeste is obviously one to watch for, you know, FC Köln uh, uh, as well. And you know another, really another another player to look out for in that Freiburg team is uh, Hiroki, uh, sorry Kevin Shada uh, as well, and um, and obviously Eggestein is is another one to watch out for um, as well. So looking at these two, it's a very very even the even matchup. This one, if I'm being totally honest with you. I'm going to go for another draw. I think it's going to be another draw in this one. I'm going FC Köln 1, SC Freiburg 1. I think it's going to be a very, very close game, but I think it'll be a draw between these two. So we have VFB Stuttgart now against Eintracht Frankfurt. VFB Stuttgart uh, lost 2-0 to uh, Freiburg. It was indeed. And Eintracht Frankfurt lost 2-0 to I mean, Bielefeld's both of these sides really hoping to bounce back uh, from very, very damaging uh, defeats, it has to be said. I mean, I'm trying to find for, they're sitting in ninth place, Stuttgart 17th. And, you know, Firth are really starting to put the pressure on Stuttgart, it has to be said. Um, look, I, did, I keep saying it, you never know which Eintracht Frankfurt you're going to get. They are such a Jekyll and Hyde side. You just do not know what you're going to get. They managed to lose 2-0 against Armini Bielefeld. But look at this. I think they're going to go to Stuttgart and win. I really, really do. Um, Stuttgart are not in the best of form. They've had four defeats out of the last five. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Eintracht Frankfurt. I think, it's, I, think, I think Frankfurt will win here. I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Frankfurt. So that is what I think. And now we have Mainz against Hoffenheim. Uh, Mainz surprisingly lost 2-1 to Grutter Firth in the last game. Hoffenheim were on the end of an absolute cracking game, but unfortunately just lost by three goals to two against Borussia Dortmund. Uh, this is a very, very tricky one to call because both of these sides are pretty, pretty close in terms of league positions. Hoffenheim are seventh, 
Mainz are still having a very, very good season. They are in 10th. I don't think they're going to be dragged into any relegation trouble, if I'm being totally honest with you. Um, because Mainz are at home, I think you have to fancy Mainz. I think, you know, Hoffenheim... Hoffenheim's form is a little bit up and down, really. It's two defeats, one win and two draws in the last five. And for Mainz, it's two wins and three defeats. So you'd have to say Mainz are probably in the better of the form going into this one. But it's a very tricky game to call. So with that being said, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Mainz. Uh, I'm not confident in predicting either of these two to, to win. But I think it's going to be a 2-1 win to mind and now whoa what a game this is it's first against sixth Bayern Munich against RB Leipzig what a matchup this is going to be uh, let's have a look Bayern Munich won by four goals to one against Hertha Berlin Leipzig 2-0 win over struggling Wolfsburg, it has to be said. Bayern sit six points clear of Dortmund. They will go nine points clear with a victory against Leipzig. Leipzig themselves were Fre Freiburg and Union Berlin to both drop points. They could potentially move up to fourth place. And I would be back in the Champions League uh, places as well. This is a... The, look, these two have been fantastic. Absolutely fantastic as well. Um... I do think, though, if you look at both sides as well, Leipzig have been very, very good. Bayern Munich have been also very, very good. But, you know, Bayern Munich's form is a little bit... A little bit... It's a little bit up and down, isn't it? It's very, very up and down. I mean, you know, it's been four wins and, and one defeat. For Leipzig, it's been three wins, one defeat, and one draw um, as well. But... You know, uh, the thing is, Leipzig have won just one of their last 11 Bundesliga games against Bayern Munich. Uh, and, yeah, they haven't beaten them since a 2-1 win in March 2018. So, this is a very, very uh, difficult task for RB Leipzig. However, I think we're in for an absolute classic. Uh, Bayern can't defend. Leipzig can't defend. Leipzig can attack, attack, attack. Bayern are can just pick you off at a, a moment like that. So, I'm going to go Bayern Munich 3, RB Leipzig 2. I think it's going to be an absolute cracker of a game. I'm going to go for a 3-2 win to Bayern Munich. And now we have Borussia Dortmund against Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, Borussia Dortmund managed to win 3-2 against Hoffenheim. And Bayer Leverkusen won by five goals to one against um, Augsburg. It was indeed, again, another fantastic matchup between these two. Um, yeah, it's a really tricky one to call because, well, Dortmund's at home. You would expect Dortmund to, to win. It is second versus third. People would probably expect a draw, but I am going to go for a Dortmund win. I think Dortmund will be too strong for Leverkusen. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Dortmund. I just think it'll be too much uh, as well. And now we have struggling Wolfsburg. And when I say struggling, they are right in the mire. They are right down in a relegation battle now. Uh, Wolfsburg against Grutter Firth. Wolfsburg lost by two goals to nil against RB Leipzig. Grutter Firth beat Mainz 2-1. Very, very impressive victory for Grutter Firth. I have to say... Wolfsburg have just lost their uh, big talisman in Vought Veghorst. He has gone to Burnley. So it's all about letting the youngsters now uh, take a chance. Obviously, uh, Felix Nemechia as well. That's, that's, that's another one to look out for as well. Wolfsburg are struggling. Wolfsburg are struggling, whereas Greta Firth are picking up points. They're picking up a few points. You know, it's, it's, it's one win, three draws and a defeat in their last five. For Wolfsburg, it's four defeats and a draw. So it's not looking very, very good for Wolfsburg. It is not looking very, very good for them at all. And because of that, I'm going to go for an away win. I am going to go for an away win. I think Greta Firth were, if they were to win this game, it would put massive, massive pressure on, uh, on Wolfsburg. Uh, they would be on 13 points. 
And with the way results are going, uh, Firth would only be six points off Augsburg. They would only be six points off Augsburg. And I think they would only be uh, eight points off uh, Wolfsburg. So this is a huge, huge game. I'm going to go for a 2 one to group Firth. I think Firth are going to win. Uh, so there we go. So my predictions are as follows. Hertha Berlin 1, VfL Bochum 1, Armenia Bielefeld 0, Borussia Mönchengladbach 1, Augsburg 0, Union Berlin 2, FC Köln 1, Freiburg 1, VfB Stuttgart 0, Eintracht Frankfurt 2, Mainz 2, Hoffenheim 1, Bayern Munich 3, Leipzig 2, Borussia Dortmund 2, Bayer uh, Leverkusen 1, and Wolfsburg 1, Grütter Firth 2. So is that time now? What the hat thinks? Here he is. Here he is. Here is the hat. So the first game to preview, or uh, first game to predict for the hat, is Hertha Berlin against VfL Bochum. What does the hat think? An away win. An away win for the hat. That could be very interesting for sure. Uh, let's see. Let's see something about that. Armini Bielefeld against Borussia Mönchengladbach. What does a hat think? Goes for a draw. It could, could well be a, a, a draw. It could well be a draw. But uh, we shall see what happens with that one. Augsburg versus Union Berlin. What's coming out here? What's coming out here? Home win. Home win for... Augsburg, well, they definitely need an. <clears throat> they definitely need a home win for sure. They need to pick up points drastically um, as well before they are dragged into uh, more relegation trouble. A uh, very interesting matchup. This one, FC Köln versus Freiburg. Was the hat think draw? I think that's probably uh, accurate. In all honesty, VFB Stuttgart versus Eintracht Frankfurt. Away win. I think the hat is going to have a good week here. I think the hat is on for a very good week. Mainz against Hoffenheim. Draw. That could be very interesting. And now the big, big game. Bayern Munich against RB Leipzig. What does the hat think? Home win. Home win. I think people are going to have to do very, very well here. The hat is doing uh, extremely well with these, I think. Borussia Dortmund against Bar uh, Leverkusen. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. A way win. A way win indeed. That could be interesting for sure. So the final game, Wolfsburg against Grota Firth. What's the hat think? Draw draw in there. So the hat has gone for an away win for Bochum against Hertha Berlin. A draw between uh, Bielefeld and Borussia Mönchengladbach. A home win between Augsburg and Union Berlin. A draw between Köln and Freiburg. Stuttgart, uh, Eintracht Frankfurt has gone for an away win. A draw between Mainz and Hoffenheim. A home win for Bayern Munich against RB Leipzig. An away win for Bayer Leverkusen against Borussia Dortmund. And a draw between Wolfsburg and Grutter Firth. That's what I think. That's what the hat thinks. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And if you've liked, obviously, the new um, setup, um, obviously doing it on StreamYard, please let me know in the comments section down below. But another match week of Bundesliga action is upon us. Should be very, very interesting. Bayern Munich Leipzig, Saturday tea time. That should be a cracking game. Borussia Dortmund Leverkusen on Sunday. That should be a cracking game. And a game at the bottom of the table between Wolfsburg and Grutter Firth. From myself, it is goodbye, and I will see you in the next video. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.